There's going to be a massive fuel hike on Wednesday and with this cost in mind we went to Cape Town's top deck to speak to taxi drivers. We asked them what impact this is going to have on their business and they said as much as they'd like to increase the tariffs for different routes, it's not up to them, it's up to the association. It costs for your 6 to 700 rand for your tank full to make, but there is no. There is no money for your tank full to make. I begin every day with a half tank petrol. Yeah, as I have three trips to get up in the morning with a half tank petrol, then I have to get petrol in my tank. I am a family man of five kids. It's for me very hard. You know, I have only one wish, and that wish is to pay for every month. And the bank is also 8,000 a month for the wish. So I work only for the bank. Und wenn ihr es noch lange ein Konzern ist, was für uns auf vier Ukraine sind. Was dann? Und wenn ihr es noch so Passagier kommt, dann kommt es dann. Und dann ist der Krieg, weil sie passen wie ich habe, für uns kann ich nicht aufsetzen. Alle sie passen kann aufgehen, dann muss man, uns kann man ja keine Dere auf. Wir haben die Petro kann drei Jahre, drei Jahre für ein Jahr auf, uns kann die aufgehen. Alles ragt die, wo sie auf die Mantel ist, wenn wir hier kommen. Als die Petro aufgehen, kann die Kurs gut aufgehen. Und dann kann die Petro, wenn wir hier kommen, dann ragt nicht so die Dere in der Dach. Ons vereniging, hulle besluit of jy op jy op jy tariewe opgaan of op het afgaan. Verstaan jy nou? So, wat ek sê, ons kan nie meer praat ook jy hoekom. Ons is nou aan de prinses, soos jy sê. Ons moet nou, ons moet ons wene overload en allerlei goed, ons moet nou slechter miskien rei om ons die taken te maak. We also spoke to passengers who said the petrol hike is not only going to affect them on the roads, but also at home. If it goes up, and then that means the taxi fares are going to go up as well. And not only the taxi fares, but the market itself is going to be affected by it. A lot of things need to be cut down. The luxuries, <laughs> no, you have to stop spoiling the kids because you normally have a routine that when you get paid you have to spoil your child, so now that should be cut down as well. As soon as the, 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 the petrol prices go up, so does the food prices go up. So it actually it is actually affecting us in not, not a good way though, in a bad way, because some of us, you know, we didn't budget to actually um, um, pay for the taxes. If you can check, the economy of South Africa is also degrading. So why not we ask this because um, um, these guys, I can see that they're trying by all means to actually improve. But you know, um, cost of life is getting very much expensive nowadays. So we are probably squeezed. I do feel squeezed. With a weak rand and economic instability in mind, it's likely to be a tough winter for South Africans. And this may not be the last petrol hike we see for the year. Aaron Bates, Cape Town. <laughs>